A new video from Catch Des Moines is showcasing the excitement of our capital city. This video went live online this week. It's an effort to attract new residents, new visitors. WHO 13's Taj Simmons caught a look at it, decided he'd take a further look at how far our city has come. The S's are silent. Our city is booming. Catch Des Moines' newest hype video features that booming baritone listing off the reasons why the capital city is the place to be. I mean, you can only show so much in a minute and a half video. Its leader, Greg uh, Edwards, show says it shows how Des Moines holds its own with much larger cities. Louisville and Indianapolis and Kansas City and Tulsa and... I mean, many cities around the Midwest. However, when Edwards took the reins of Cash Des Moines back in the year 2000, the city was still growing into its identity. But downtown was a little slow back in those days. This chopper footage from the mid 2000s shows just how many pivotal projects were under construction back then. The Science Center of Iowa was taking shape along MLK Drive. The public library kickstarted development of downtown west of 10th Street. Related to that, the sculpture garden was yet to come. Its site was still taken up by rundown brick buildings. Most of all, the Wells Fargo Arena did not even have its roof on yet. Edwards says it is powerful to look back on how much has changed in Des Moines during his tenure. Everything just began coming together and now we are what we are, a cool, vibrant city. He believes the city is becoming an easier sell to both visitors and residents, and the people who see it for themselves have a hard time leaving. Every time we bring in a new convention here, People leave here saying, oh my gosh, what a great time we had. We're coming back. When you're here, you'll get it. While Catch Des Moines' newest video has flashy visions for the city's present and future, it's just as important to see how far Des Moines has come from its past. In Des Moines, Tosh Simmons, WHO 13 News. And there are a lot more of us here to enjoy it. According to the U.S. Census, the Des Moines Metro has grown from just shy of 500,000 people in 2000 to more than 700,000 in 2020. Aaron, this is reminding me of growing up uh, <laughs> riding with my dad in the car and he'd say, he pointed at a building and say, I, I remember when that was a cornfield. And now <laughs> I, I do it to my kids. And now, <laughs> and now we are our parents. <laughs> exactly.